Hello, welcome back to Onyx Food Hill. Today, I'll be showing you how to make cake puffs at home. If you're looking for a delicious, fun treat to pass around at your next party, look no further than this cake puffs recipe. This is a fun and easy way to celebrate any special occasion. First of all, you will need to prepare your cake from scratch. Once you have your already made cake on hand, cool it first and then trim off the hard surface. You don't want to end up with small lumps in your cake pops. You can simply use box cake mix from the store and you can as well use leftover cake like I did. Go ahead and crumble the cake into a large bowl with your hands. To hasten this process, you can use a hand mixer to break it down further into smaller crumbs. When that is ready, add 3 tablespoons of any of your favorite frosting to the cake, beginning with 1 tablespoon first at a time. Then mix this until you have something like wet sand. These cake puffs can also be made with canned buttercream frosting or with cream cheese frosting. In my own case, I'm using homemade vanilla buttercream frosting. If the butter is still crumbly and falling apart when pressed with your fingers, don't hesitate to add more buttercream and mix until you have the perfect consistency. You will know this is ready when the butter can hold a nice shape just like this one. Once you have that, use a cookie scoop to scoop the butter into equal portions. And make sure the balls you are about to form are not too large, otherwise they will fall off the cake puff stick when left to stand. You can now roll the mixture into small balls to about 1 inch in size. Continue with the rest of the cake butter until you have used up all of it. Refrigerate these for at least 2 hours to firm up. It's time to melt your candy. Chop off the chocolates into smaller pieces and place all the pieces in a heat proof bowl. Drop the bowl over a double boiler. Add 1 tablespoon of coconut oil to help thin it down and melt faster. Once done, Pour the melted chocolate into a narrow dish or a drinking glass and leave for a few minutes to cool down a little bit first before you begin dipping. Once the chocolate is slightly cooled, take out few cake balls from the fridge at a time. The rest need to stay chilled until you're ready to use them. If the cake balls are deformed during the chilling process, just shape them back with your hands. Dip the top of the cake puff stick into the melted chocolate, just have way to coat. This will help the stick to bind with the cake balls and not make them to fall apart. Now insert the stick into the cake ball. Just halfway through until it reaches the middle of the bowl. Next, dip the cake ball into the chocolate and coat evenly, making sure to coat the base as well. Gently tap the cake pulp on one side of the bowl to trip off excess coating. When you have a smooth coating like this one, 
Decorate it immediately with sprinkles before it sets. Stand the cake pops on a styrofoam block and leave to set for 20 minutes. If you like, you can decorate your cake pops with chocolate drizzles. This will also help beautify them. You can make different colors of cake pops if you want. Just add some food colors to your melted chocolates and dip as many cake pops as you like. Now that you have your cake pops ready, you can enjoy them and save some for the next day. These cake pops are great treats to present as gifts at birthdays, parties or any special occasion. If you want to impress your friends and loved ones, they are super easy and fun to make. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and share with your friends. And please, you can subscribe to the channel to watch more fun videos. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye!